In the United States, a top Republican lawmaker in Congress wants to stop White, the White House, White House plans rather, to resettle Syrian refugees. House Speaker Paul Ryan is joining a growing list of U.S. governors refusing to take in Syrians in their states. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg is following the story for us. Roy, about half the governors in the U.S. now voicing opposition. That's right, or at least some concern, and we're seeing the governors largely divided along party lines. Like many issues, this has quickly turned partisan. The latest figures, 26 governors, all of them Republican, saying they will not comply with President Obama's resettlement plans, and four governors, one of them a Democrat, not going quite that far, instead saying they are lobbying the White House for tougher screening procedures and access to more of that information. In total, there are 31 Republicans. We're still waiting to hear from two more of them. So we could actually see that number go up as more of them come out in support of congressional leadership. The U.S. House of Representatives opened the week on Monday with a moment of silence. On Tuesday, that silence was broken. Our nation has always been welcoming, but we cannot let terrorists take advantage of our compassion. This is a moment where it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Paul Ryan, the Republican House Speaker, is urging the Obama administration to pause a plan announced in September to resettle some 10,000 Syrians in the U.S. within one year. Ryan's tune echoes a growing chorus of American governors, mostly Republican, who have said they will not comply. I will not roll the dice and take the risk on allowing a few refugees in uh, simply uh, to expose Texans to that danger. They only have to be right one time, terrorists do, and, and we have to be wrong one time. Uh, and so we can't take that chance, and, and that's why we've made this decision. On Tuesday, senior White House officials defended the U.S. refugee program and its background checks. They say the program has worked for four decades and has helped usher in more than three million people. But since Syria's civil war broke out, only 1,500 of them have been Syrian. The vast majority of Syria's refugees, more than 4 million, have gone to neighboring Turkey, Lebanon, and Jordan. A better fit, said Ted Cruz, a Republican presidential hopeful and senator from Texas, one of the states refusing. Now, the Refugee Act of 1980 gives the federal government broad discretion over immigration policy, including refugees. While individual states may not be able to overrule Washington, they can, experts say, withhold state resources. And the local agencies that do much of the work on the ground could take their cues from the governors. That ACA would make resettling Syrian refugees in uncooperative states all the more difficult. All right, CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg, thank you.